Happening right now, investigators are trying to figure out what sparked a flash fire that sent two girls to the hospital here in Colorado. It happened at a home on Wyman Court off 70th in Commerce City this morning. And our Jamie Leary is live on the scene right now. She's been working the story all morning. So what do we know about the girls and their injuries, Jamie? We know the girls are 11 and 15 years old. Neighbors who saw them after the fire say they suffered serious burns. They were transported to Children's Hospital in Aurora. Now, as far as the fire itself goes, you can see the duplex just behind me right here. And it doesn't seem that it's the same damages to the outside, but we know that two families, 10 people in all, are displaced, including the Moores family, who live in the unit directly next door. She was screaming, she's like, hurry up, hurry up, and she was like rushing me. Fernando Maurice said it was his mother who got him out of bed, barely awake. He said he stumbled out of the house with his little sister, parents, and their family dog. They told me they saw the young girls outside just before firefighters arrived and said they were badly burned. It was just before 7 o'clock this morning when South Adams County Fire responded. XL Energy wasn't far behind. In fact, they're still on scene. Investigators call it a flash fire, meaning that it was something flammable that quickly ignited. It also caused an explosion powerful enough to break windows and knock down a wall, but was contained to one room. The South Adams County Fire Marshal says that they're looking into some possible causes, but he could only speak vaguely about what the focus of the investigation is going forward. It's going to be figuring out where the fuel source uh, came from, what exactly that fuel source is, and then what the ignition source that ignited that, and then trying to figure out um, how the burns happened to the two individuals. The exact condition of the two girls are unknown at this time, but they are expected to survive. The Red Cross is stepping in to help the two families who are displaced until repairs can be made and they can move back in. We're going to continue to follow this story. Uh, live, uh, live near Denver, Jamie Leary, CBS 4 News. Jamie, thanks a lot. New information right now about